Hello, my name is Elizabeth Bradshaw and I'm here to talk to you about the permanent service for mean sea level navigating the digital ocean. I'd like to thank my colleagues at PSMSL and the National Oceanography Centre. Changing sea level will have a major impact on human life over the next 100 years. We need mean sea level data to study climate change, the impact of human activities on densely populated areas, the economic impact of sea level rise and to plan coastal engineering. The UN Decade of Ocean Science, which starts in 2021, identified several priority areas relating to data. These include more data are needed to support accurate real-time ocean forecasting, including baseline data. And we need to gain access to a large amount of existing data that aren't currently shared. PSMSL is the global data bank for long-term mean sea level data. And we have over 72,000 station years of monthly and annual values from over 2,000 stations received from 200 national authorities. We bank about 800 stations per year. Our primary goal is to increase the data bank and fill in gaps in the observational network by the use of novel techniques such as automatic quality control and technologies such as GNSS reflectometry. We also have a mandate to provide training and software. Our main goal over the next five years is to set up an ERDAP server to help provide access to global sea level data and to convert our data into a file format that the ERDAP server can access. We want to provide seamless access to multiple sources of data in the format that users request. We're working on a NetCDF file format, but we need to develop new parameters and add to existing controlled vocabularies to ensure we're working towards fair and trust principles. There is a particular need to develop lineage metadata for long-term time series. In a world of big data, where we can no longer control what happens to our distributed product, we need to make sure what we distribute is properly and fully described. We need to be able to produce a full audit trail that shows where the data and metadata come from, and if we've updated the records, why? Sea level stations have long and complicated histories and may have moved or changed sensors many times. Persistent identifiers will help retain critical metadata. We're going to continue to work with the Research Data Alliance Persistent Identification of Instruments Working Group on developing persistent identifiers for sensors. Developing such tools will also help improve our links with other global sea level data centres, such as the Flanders Marine Institute, and also with services in the Global Geodetic Observing System. We also hope to work more closely with the metrological community, particularly around data rescue activities. Thank you for your attention today.